Hi folks, welcome. Thanks for joining us, 13th of August. 13th of August. I'm just here on the wheel. Yeah, it's just a, a, a body there of a, um, that has a, a lid and a spout actually. I was just, I had it upside down because I was just uh, wanting the lower half to stiffen up a bit. So here I'm actually in the process of making, I'm really just playing around with the, you know, these are like, uh, like a lidded caddy form, but they can be very easily made into a teapot, very easily. So this is one here that I've, this is 24 ounces, pound and a half, I've just thrown this, and now I'm going to have a sip of tea. Ah, that's better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to paddle it with this paddle, expand it, make the flange for a cap lid. So that's where I'm at at the minute. So I'm thinking I'm ready now to, just before, incidentally, before you, if you were going to use an impressing paddle, whatever, whatever kind you may decide to use, it's a good idea to make sure that the, the, the surface where you're going to give that impression is relatively nice and, you know, without other competing lines or marks or throwing rings, you see what I mean? Right, so let's see what happens. Woo. Important thing is keep your hand on the inside so you're smacking against. So now, now he looks. Whoa, sorry, that's a bit bent out of shape. <laughs> he is a bit bent out of shape. I know they are like that when after you paddle them. So now I'm just going to bring a bit of water here to the, and now I'm going to. Like this, six points of contact, constrict that in. Let's bring the camera down for a bit of detail. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what he's about. Oh my gosh, Simon, that does look bent out of shape. <laughs> it's all right, don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, so let's just get the, this now. So I'm now going to So we call this part here the shoulder. Oh, I've just I've just actually I've forgotten to do something. I was supposed to expand it. Completely forgot about doing that. <laughs> Sorry about that folks. <laughs> Back to the <laughs> back to the drawing board. Yeah, I've, I've, what I'm going to do is put my hand down inside, and I'm going to I'm going to open this out a touch. The form. So I'm expanding it from the inside. Just need a little bit of water on my fingertips. Okay, so you notice I keep this finger here on the flange to keep the flange I don't want it to I don't want it to open out you see let's just go down in here I'm right down at the bottom in the corner and now I'm all I'm doing is just pushing out expanding the form it's getting a bit dry up there All 
right. Now, yeah, when you're doing that expanding from the inside, you you need to have adequate water. Okay, now let, let's just close this in again like it did earlier. Okay, the shoulder is fairly, is fairly flat, you see. It's fat, flat but very slightly con convex. Let's just get the camera down there so you can see that. Let's just pull this back a touch. So you can see the sideways profile here. This is very, very, very slightly, this portion, the shoulder, a little bit convex. It's, you don't want it to be concave. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to show you how to do that flange. Okay, there it is. So we've got to do a flange for a lid. How are we going to do that? So let's just use my throwing stick here on the like that, just to clear away that, that water there. Okay, so just put a little bit of water there like that. We're going to use your finger of your right index finger you're going to turn it over though like that put that finger inside and lift up the lift up the the clay there and make it vertical using your finger as a stop it happens kind of quickly so don't don't look away okay when I, when I start to do it otherwise you'll miss it okay there it is there's the mark and there he is okay flange you can have a go at doing that, you know, practice it. Nothing's going to happen if you don't practice it. If you see something that is good and you, and you, you want it, and you, wanna, you want to be able to do that, then just go, just do it. Get some clay, flesh it out, do it. Okay. like that right now. Of course all the time I'll be very careful not to put any finger marks on the outside of the piece. Um, because that would spoil the pattern. So now I'm going to measure that. In fact I'm going to measure it like that. measure across for a cap lid like that put the caliper down so you don't knock it or anything like that okay we've got to get this off now I haven't thrown it on a bat so I'm just going to Actually, before I do that, I'm going to put a little bit of a. Are uh, we in the picture? Down at the base here, I'm just going to use my my throwing stick here just to clean it, a touch, and put in a bevel like that. Okie dokie, right now. Don't know what that is there. 
There's a little mark of, uh, of dirt or something. Ooh, a bit of dirt. I don't know what that was, but I had to dig it out, and now I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use my throwing stick here just to heal the wound, so to speak. You know where that was. Still there. I'll deal with that when he's um when he's leather hard. I'll just put a bit clean. There. We check that again. Yeah, just takes a moment or two just to Clean my cutoff wire. Give it a bit more speed through here and uh, straight through. I'll we'll put him on a bat. Let's just bring back the camera touch. Bring back the camera. Okay. He should come off easy enough. There we go. All right, so there's that. Let's make a lid. Yeah. A lid. How much clay are we gonna need for a lid? Ah, you just have to guess it, you know? Just guess it. See how we go with that. Ah. One hand really to, initially anyway, to just center this, get it So basically we're making a cap lid like this, just flatten it down, center it and flatten it down like that. All right? Just keep an eye on the width that you're gonna need. And now just forming the the underside of what will be the of the lid, you know. La 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 la. Let's widen it a touch. Just 
to a little narrow, we want to go just a little bit wider. This wheel sounds like it needs a drop of oil. Making a certain noise which I associate with. It's time for my yearly oil squirt oil. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, if anybody's interested in a leech treble wheel, give me a shout. As I keep telling you. Uh, uh, within the US, probably not even to Canada at the minute. Things are getting crazy. So, all right, so there it is. There is the lid. Uh, we'll just put a leather on it just for, just because we can. All righty, let's get, a, get him off. Get your fingertips dry, get under the, the, make sure the edge of the pot is without water on it using your throwing stick. Then you can lift it, then let those fingers walk underneath and you'll be able to lift him off. Easy peasy. All right, quick, let's do a spout while we're here. Oh. I've got to do this order of teapots for Sam out in Holland. Hi Sam. <laughs> he's got the patience of he's got the patience of a saint, I'll tell you that guy. I'm not the I'm not the the quickest person to make orders. Unfortunately. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm making a spell, aren't I? Whoa! Wake up Simon. Yeah, some people, I don't generally take on orders, but I don't know, sometimes I just do. So, I, you know, I've got 10 teapots to make, but they've got to be a pint. No more than a pint. Gosh, I don't know, I'm, a, I, I, I'm just hoping these are not going to be too big. But I'm just, I'm just going to make a load of teapots. I'll just make a load, some will be a little bigger, some will be a little smaller, and I'll just pick out the ones that are... Okay, so here's the spout. Let's zoom in on that just a touch. Spouts, people might have difficulties with, but they're not really that difficult actually, once you get the hanger. There we go. There we go. Whoa. You just gotta learn this technique, you know? Squeeze it in. See, you can get him in. And you just kind of keep putting, putting your, putting your finger on the inside there, like that, and then. You see what I'm doing? Just throw it up like that. So you throw it up. You see, pull up the clay, and then you got to, and then you make it narrow again. You see. So each time you make it, you, you constrict it in. And make it more narrow. It makes it makes the it makes the the spout here thicker. The wall of the spout it makes it makes it thicker. So then you've got to keep you've got to put your little pinky in there like that. You see, and then you see what I'm doing. You got to pull up the clay again. You see, you, you bring up the height of it, and then and then you narrow it down again. Not that, they're not that difficult. Once you've made a few, you get the hang of it. The idea is you want to get a nice curve here, because that adds certain gracefulness to a teapot. Now I use one of these, this this kind of rib, to help me with that. Just to see, always with a teapot, with a teapot spout, you you end up. You 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 know you you cut it. You cut it away at an angle. So you 
Yeah, I just like using one of these because it. Got something else in this. I think I've got. It's like a pine needle or something. Yeah, you don't want that thing kind of stuff left there because if that fires in the kiln, it will burn out and leave a hole. All right, that's. I think that's looking okay. Okay. Let's pull back this water here a bit. Like that. Now, don't worry about the top if it goes up and down because it's irrelevant. Because it's going to be. You're going to use a. A thing to cut the spout, you know, uh, that blade you see me use. All right, well, I've got to cut him off, haven't I? Come on, get with the program. Like that. Okay, now these small spouts like that, you can, like this, you can lift off pretty much, just get a good contact. You lift them off like that, you see. Okay, so there he is. That's basically going to be a teapot. Um, I just want to just quickly, while we're here, I've got this teapot over here. I just want to see if it's, if I can do something to it. So this is one that I did yesterday. So just tap centre. Right now. Push down, trim tool. Just going to give a little attention here to this, this top bit here. Upside down like that. Yeah, we're going to have a teapot week. Well, the week's almost gone, but I mean, whoa! Actually, just wondering. This one I threw a little, a little bit heavy actually, and I was wondering about as much as anything, just to slightly lighten it to to. I'm not quite sure how much clay I've got there. I was just thinking of. Um, Lighten the the teapot a little bit by removing some clay from underneath here. I wouldn't usually do that, but uh, you know, you do what you have to do sometimes, don't you? The thing is, uh, because this is maybe a little soft, and I'm pushing down, it's going to make the. So I think probably what I'm going to do is come back to this later. That's something you can do, you know, if you if it's advantageous just to leave it a little bit to 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 stiffen off a little bit. Maybe not a bad idea to do that. Go away, do something, come back later, or come back after supper, you know, and then you'll find that it'll be just a little bit easier to work on. So I think I'm going to actually do that. Because I want to 
I think I just want to remove a little bit more clay there. So there it is, folks. Well, you know, it's a it's a it's a teapot world, isn't it? Well, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Um, yes, if Zoom clay interests you, one to one Zoom lessons. Uh, get in touch with me. Doesn't really matter where you are in the world, does it? You can have a workshop one on one with me if, if you're in Hawaii or South Africa, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I've already. Yeah, I did the spout and the lid for that one yesterday, which I'm going to have to keep under wraps a little longer so that it doesn't get they keep them you know keep things from drying out in this this Texas weather we're having here in Pennsylvania yeah okay folks thanks a lot 13th of August thanks for joining us thanks for tuning in I hope this was entertaining or instructive helpful um, yeah, workshops are still ongoing, September, October, uh, and Leech Treadle Wheels, I'm taking orders. Keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Dee, 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 dee.